my life before Christ was pain and misery. I, I try to think of it as, uh, you know, if you think of a merry-go-round on fire, it was just an endless cycle of misery and pain and hopelessness. I started, you know, around 15 or 16 experimenting with different things, drugs and alcohol, and it just progressed, spiraled downhill. I went in and out of several treatment centers, in and out of jail. I, I just didn't know anything else. Uh, back in March of 2017, when the Making Room was uh, officially launched, I um, had it on my heart and that uh, I was going to pray for my cousin Gabby. And it was just an automatic, there was no um, second guess of who it was or what I needed to pray for. It was like, that's who it is. Over the eight, nine months, we did start praying for him. We used the carabiner. Um, we added to our prayer list. We added it to our small group prayer list. Um, we were faithful in that, I think, of just how desperate he was. We knew that it was very important. And I was gonna basically see it all the way through to the end, and see him through that addiction and um, everything else. Since I was a kid, I had a, a fundamental idea of God. You know, I, I believed in God. I just chose not to depend on Him, uh, never gave Him a chance. You know, believing and depending are two different things. In and out of treatment, you know, I, I'd always heard the God concept and how strong that really was and, and what integral part uh, He played in, in any sort of not necessarily just recovery, but peace of mind, serenity, and joy. It weighed heavy on my heart that uh, I knew what was right and I knew which way I needed to go. Just trying to reach out to him and just love on him and accept him. He was just had a hard time, but I wanted to kind of be there and not, uh, not him feel ashamed. My cousin had invited me to Pine Lake and this was just during the time when I'm sort of getting out of treatment and uh, starting over with life. And Chip preached on the rope that morning and uh, that really hit home for me. You know, it, I, I'm, I'm a visual person and he, you know, allowed me to see that, you know, that little bitty piece of tape on that rope is, uh, you know, my life, my, my flesh life, my human life and the rest of the rope is, you know, ultimate, you know, eternity. I, I just thought, man, if I've got just this little bit of time, you know, I need to get, get working on something. You know, I decided to accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. You know, when he did say that, um, you know, I'm ready to make that life change. I'm ready to take that step. I'm try to, ready to surrender everything I got, put that past away and, and everything. It was, it, it was really cool and really special to me to my family and to the kids and uh, get some emotion. <clears throat> I just know what he's been through and uh, man, it's just really cool. My family has always been pretty close. You know, during my times of struggle, I, I tended to get further and further away. I just found out that you know, I was I was part of his uh, carabiner story, and man, that, that just uh, warms my heart. I would off to my wife too. She, uh, I, I go through some rough spots where maybe I had doubt. Man, this isn't gonna work. Um, she said, "Don't lose hope. Don't lose your focus on that. God's gonna do it in His timing. Don't rush it. You know, let's just be faithful. Be just consistent." And, and then when He did, it, it brought it together. Um, we're like brothers again. It's kind of like a just a joy, a, just a, um, a celebration. Man, it's it's been unbelievable. Uh, you know, I try to explain it to people and, and I try to uh, find a word to describe it. And uh, the only thing I've found is the word uh, ineffable. And it's uh, what it means is something that is so great uh, it cannot be described with words. You know, my life today, uh, walking with Christ, is ineffable. If I knew it would have been this good a long time ago, I'd, I, I would have definitely jumped the gun.